So here we go. We got some women that are bugging. Now that the Let's dust play the has video. settled, it's a couple of things that I want to say. Y'all, I think I'm ready to go full 4B. I'm kind of... I'm ready to go full 4B movement on the men. Uh, actually, black men, y'all did well. We got about 80% or so. Uh, it's always going to be some knuckleheads that think they white and got a white woman or, you know, whatever. Y'all, the black men did pretty good. I'm not specifically mad at black men. It's just men in general treating women like why are our rights always up for grabs it's not a free country if every four years i gotta fight for my life like if y'all insist on making women second class citizens we don't have to give you our body if we gotta fight for our reproductive rights we don't have to give you children we don't have to reproduce with you we're gonna do like they doing over in korea korea got a whole missing class of children because they stopped mating with the men and they stopped giving birth because their rights were not being protected and because the men were Korea. not doing their fair share Korea. and i'm ready to go full 4b women if you not if you haven't heard of it look up the 4b movement so i want to see how long this is going to last i really do the problem is this you have these women right now all over TikTok telling their telling wives Divorce your husbands because of the turnout of the election. Y'all all know, I don't say nothing about this, but when you start attacking marriage, I got a problem. I got a problem. You should be withholding your box from every and any man anyway. This shouldn't even be a, a conversation. Y'all are reproducing and not married, so we have a problem right along. Yet still, here you are, like most women, saying don't even talk to men. Everything is getting blamed on a man. I'm going to get further into that on how I feel about this, but God, yo, it is wow. Exactly. And, and most black men. But the problem, the, problem, the problem with this, though, Skinny, this is not even turning out to be just a black man thing. This is turning out to be a hatred towards men. Straight misandry. Straight misandry. So, let's keep going. Uh, I think that the only way that women are going to get respect and change the narrative and break out of this misogynistic patriarchal nightmare is to withhold our bodies and start demanding more. We cannot be pick me's. We cannot be chasing. Well, why, why not do that from the beginning? Why haven't you been doing that from the beginning? Demand more before you give a man your body. Why did it take a whole election for you to say, I'm going to demand more from men in order for you to have my body? Jesus. And after men, we cannot be using our emotions and making excuses for men's poor treatment of us. We cannot be protecting DL men, especially in the church. We cannot be protecting predators. We have no, no. Okay. I said it. I said it right. I said misandry. That's the hatred of men. I said it exactly right. <laughs> because that's what they're doing, and we are standing by our men, supporting them, supporting the church in their misogyny, and making us feel like second class class citizens, and going along with it like we agree with it, like we really think the uh, abortion is the issue. When really the issue is women's sexual freedom. You don't want women to feel sexually free. You want men to feel sexually free and women to be punished and carry the burden and shame of unwanted. Hold up, what happened? What am I am I did I share something else? Oh, I shared Instagram. By the way, if you guys are seeing this and you are on Instagram, do me a favor and come over here and watch us on YouTube. You too. All right. My bad, y'all. My bad. I'm just checking to see who was watching. And it looks like nobody was watching. So they might have all came over here already. But I, right, with that being said, my fault. Sharing the wrong thing again. I am tripping. I am tripping. I, yo, you see, this is why I say. When you take a little break and you come back, you tend to fall off. And I'm falling off. Y'all just be celibate. How about that? How about y'all just how Grinder crashed at the RNC because y'all was DL? 
y'all go ahead and keep doing that and then we'll just keep our stuff to ourselves or we'll just share it with each other and then we'll just go our separate ways how about that but hello as- hello hello i gotta be wondering that hello i'm sorry did she say that she's gonna share how their selves with their selves our stuff to ourselves or we'll just share it with each other i'll go ahead and keep doing that and then we'll just keep our stuff to ourselves or we'll just share it with each other and then hello 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 there's a different agenda that i'm hearing right now this honestly sounds like um the rainbow movement is being pushed you see sometimes this is why i say you ha- ladies please be careful what you listen to on the internet because some of these women have different agendas. If you hear how how calmly she slipped that in there, we're gonna share, we're gonna keep ourselves to ourselves or share ourselves with each other. Y'all ain't catch that? Y'all ain't catch that because I caught it. These women have a different agenda. And what they're trying to do is tell you, the women, follow me. Sleep with me real quick. Slide that in real, real quick. And then, you know, let's not be around these men. You know what I'm saying? So it's wild. It's wild. We got a five, we got a five dollar super chat from my guy Quint in the closet. Shout out to you. Quint says, Quint says, there we go again. Black men voted for her at a 78%, but black women are going to punish their men for joining someone else's movement, by joining someone else's movement. This has absolutely nothing to do with our women, but it has nothing to do with us. Because if you want to look at what black men and black women did, yeah, at the most part, they voted. But here's the thing. The biggest problem, the biggest part of why she lost was because people didn't turn out. People didn't go to vote. But instead of saying, like, why didn't they vote or why didn't they turn out? How about just saying something along the lines of, you know, maybe they didn't respect her policy. Not the fact that she's a woman. Just the fact that they didn't like what she was saying. They didn't like her agenda, what she was pushing. Maybe a lot of people was tired of the concerts and wanted more policy. Like I said, I don't do politics over here like that. But I do understand that sometimes you gotta you gotta dibble and dabble and have the real truthful conversations. I do understand that. So this is crazy. But I, I, I truly feel as if some of these women have straight agendas. Here we go. Ladies, I'm not saying this to be facetious. But I don't care if you're a rose girl, a wand girl, or a monster alien tentacle girl. Stock up now what? for your moments of weakness because I promise you ain't no alive worth getting stuck with a man. None. We are taking coochie off the table indefinitely. Ladies, I'm not saying this to be facetious, but I don't care if you're a rose girl, a wand girl, or a monster alien tentacle girl. I have to play that again. A Stock monster alien tentacle girl now. is for your moments of weakness because I promise you ain't no alive worth getting stuck with a man. None. We are taking coochie off the table indefinitely. Like- so this, and this is what I'm saying. There's an agenda behind this. You're taking yourself off the table. You should have took yourself off the table to begin with. You should have literally said, you know what? Let me be selective with my box because most of the men y'all have given it to is not worth it. I guess what we should do, fellas, what we should do is thank this election for happening. Because we care about our women. And we want our women to be more selective with what they give out when, it's, when it pertains to their bodies. So if this is what it takes, then let's do it. Let's do it. We got more craziness for y'all. Just looked up what the 4B movement is. And I literally fell to the ground crying. (laughs) I had finally pulled myself together today because we actually are 
in a dangerous situation. Aside from the news this morning about who won the election, we actually have a fire that started and it is very close to where I live. And <laughs> people Yo. are now losing their homes. Yo, Ash is crazy. So I was sent home early today from work, but that's not what it's about. I literally looked up what the 4B movement was. If you don't know what the 4B movement is, Korean women had decided to stop having babies until they received equal rights and their country was screwed because they weren't having enough kids. Their population was going down too quickly. I cannot believe that that was something that had to be done and that now we are at our rock bottom and this is where we are at. I feel like I'm in a different world today. This is so heartbreaking. I am beyond I'm beyond words and feelings today. You and I both. You and I both. I got some more foolishness for y'all. Hold on. Here we go. You guys feel spicy? Because I do. No matter how loud, how kind, how respectful, how cute, men will still. This is a movement, y'all. We're not talking about bringing that 4B movement right here to the United States. Tell me about the fucking Operation 4B. Refuse to date men, get married, have SEX with them, or children. All I have to say is good luck getting laid. <laughs> me and my girlies are participating in the 4B movement. No more kitty cat for moderate men. Fucking all. But, oh, boom! Boom! No more kitty cat for moderate men. Why are you giving? Are you giving these moderate? Why are you? Okay, I'm trying to calm myself down. I'm trying to calm myself down. Yo, listen, I got high blood pressure. I know I need to do better. I need to do better. Why are you giving all these moderate men the kitty cat to begin with? I could never get enough on how if you let people talk long enough, they end up really telling on themselves. They end up really telling on themselves. I know I had a week off, kid. I had a week off. And I'm trying to relax, right? I'm trying to relax. I need to relax. You know, it was a nice little vacation. I did miss y'all. I missed, you know, getting on here and talking to my GMT family. But it was a, it was, it was a well-needed time because since January to now, I think I only had like three days off of doing this on my scheduled days. So, yeah. Yeah, I needed it. But it's hard to relax when I'm hearing bullshit. This is crazy. This is crazy. All things that the patriarchy wants us to be. Look at this. He's cutting the hair off. No attention to men. The lead block. Do not respond to them. Government cares that they're not having kids because children are the future labor force. I'm going to start barking and getting fucking crazy. You're crazy? Me too. All the women who are crazy. It is the best thing I've ever done for my mental health. We're not crazy. We have to do this together. The women who are doing the 4B movement help other women who are doing the 4B movement. All right, you know, Leanna, you're not be responding to you. Going to be promoting the 4B movement. Do not acknowledge them. Do not look at them. Do not laugh at their jokes. Why exactly are you going to keep? So, fellas, fellas, do me a favor. Stop taking. Stop picking up the garbage. Don't go maintenance their houses. If they call you for anything, do not assist. If they call the police force, let them deal with it. How about we start our own, I guess, 1B movement. I don't know what the hell. Just to show them, like, hey, listen, look. We need each other because we work good together. This, These women, it's one thing if you're like, yo, I'm not going to give moderate to, to less than moderate men the kitty cat. All right, cool. Don't give it up. But it's another thing where you're like, ignore them. Don't talk to them. Leave your husbands. That is insane. Leave your husband. Are, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Leave your husbands. Break up your family. Break up your family because of this election. Forget the kids. The kids don't matter. Who cares how they feel? All that matters is how you feel. This is why we say when it comes down to it, a lot of these women, I'm not saying all, I'm not saying all. I don't want the not all police to come at me today. A lot of these women are very, very selfish. This is why you see the divorce rate so high in America, because it's all about what about me? Forget the kids. Forget the family structure that me and my husband built. 
If me and you have a difference of opinion, get it. I've literally heard women say like, yo, listen, I am I cut my friends off because they voted for Donald Trump. You had longtime friends with a difference of opinion. And because they had a difference of opinion in you, you cut them off. You're literally leaving your husbands, leaving your sons and your daughters to figure it out all because you mad. There's, these, there's a subset of women as well that's on the internet right now that's straight up telling women like, listen, let's create this movement. She, there's one woman said she's like an ambassador. She looked crazy anyway. But she was saying she's an ambassador in the 4B movement that's coming to the United States. And she's recruiting all women and she wants to make it a safe space for them. If they have to leave the kids, leave the kids. It doesn't matter. As long as you, the woman, are safe, that should be the most important thing that should be for you. You're not going to tell me this shit ain't crazy. Ain't you're, no not, way in hell. you're not going to tell me. Hold up. Ain't no way in girl. hell I'm leaving my man. I'm not here to judge anybody doing this 4B movement, but telling people to divorce their husbands is crazy. First of all, this is the type of movement that is never going to work. Yo, every hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. I got to send a special shout out. Wife school, what up, what up, what up? You are in the building. Special shout outs to you. All right, if y'all are not subscribed to the Wife School podcast, please do me a favor and go over there, subscribe. All right. What's going to happen is that a handful of y'all are going to leave your husbands and end up miserable and alone while your husband is laid up with somebody new. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Like I just seen a video and the lady was like, divorce your husbands immediately if you can. Scary amount of women on there that was like, yep, Mm-hmm. I've been telling everybody to divorce their husbands. And then she went on to tell people to poison, schmurder their husbands. Man, crazy, advocating for crazy. Murder. No one sees an issue with that. And it right. Uh, I'm sorry, young lady. You, you're killing it right now. You're killing it. But think about what she just said. If a man were to say the same exact thing, let's start a movement where we leave our wives and red rum them on the way out the door. Do you not think that the FBI, CIA, um, you know, name a name a law enforcement group, even a damn security guard at the mall would be knocking on your door. But she could literally say she's in groups where people are saying to red rum their husbands and no one is giving us any attention. And she ain't lying. I'm going to tell you she's not lying because I saw it for myself. I saw it for myself. Yo, some of these women can say whatever they want to say and get away with it, even if it's bloody red rum and no one takes them serious. But guess what, though? In a lot of cases, these women are doing it. They doing it. It's crazy. I'm sorry, I'm getting triggered. I'm getting triggered. Again, a scary amount of comments like, yep, yep, yep. Please educate me. I'm genuinely having a hard time wrapping my mind around what purpose is that serving? Now, me personally, I'm not married. I do have a man, a great man. Ain't no way on God's green earth I'm finna leave my man. Is you crazy? I'm genuinely having a hard time wrapping my mind around this concept. In a bigger picture, I really want to point out with this is anybody does have a husband worth divorcing or a man worth leaving. This is what it took for you to leave your man. People stick around for neglect, abuse, mistreatment, cheating, lying. Y'all stayed for that. But this is what it took for you to leave. Genuinely <laughs> having a hard time grasping. Yo, why, why do I need to leave my man to, to it, prove a point to a government that it's not going to give a fuck about us either? Anyway. Anyway, you, realize that, right? you still gonna have to figure it out. No matter so who's if more. that makes me an enemy because I cannot get behind this, I guess I'm an enemy because I'm not leaving my man. The hell, the way my man stands by me, supports. Kit, they're talking about honestly. They're talking about all men. They talking about all men. If you will listen to a lot now, 
if you listen to you see all these videos I have saved here, minus the ones with the simp at the bottom. If you listen to a lot of these videos, they're talking about all men, not some men, not good men, all men. I don't know what's so funny about this fake 4B outrage from the men is that anytime a woman expresses her terrible experiences with a man, then it's always, you should have picked better. So now we're not picking at all. And you motherfuckers got a problem with it. Then. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Because you shouldn't have picked that guy in the first place. So there we go. Don't let us talk about our deadbeat ass baby daddies. Then it's, you should have kept your fucking legs closed. So now we choosing not to fuck y'all at all. Y'all still got a problem with that. Then so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to just keep stopping starting her because she curse a lot because she can't help herself. But I don't really think men got a problem with y'all talking about doing this 4B movement. I personally don't care. Listen, if I know my wife ain't going to fall for this crap that they talking about right now. So I personally don't care. What I'm trying to say is I know men in general. We don't take y'all serious when y'all talk. Y'all had all types of movements, right? The soft era. How long did that last? The soft girl era. How long did that last? Every three months, y'all have a different era. Y'all have a different movement that y'all are doing. But y'all never really stick with anything. Anything. The first man that has a nice car, you're giving it up. And I can guarantee you that this woman right here is giving it up for a lot less than a nice car. All right. Then it's always y'all bitches asking for too much. Y'all some gold diggers. Y'all want us for our money. Now we not asking y'all for a fucking thing. Absolutely nothing. Just leave us the fuck alone. And y'all got a problem with that. Then when women start talking about how they want a ring, they want to get married, then is a ring shouldn't, you know, determine how much I love you. And a, a, a marriage is just a piece of paper. We don't have to do that. Pause. So the problem with this is also you already gave that man a child. So you're expecting the ring after you gave the man a child. Most men look at it like this. If I'm going to buy the cow, make it worth it. I already got the cow because I got the most important thing as a man that you, the woman, could give me, which is a child, which is your womb. That benefits me. What benefits you is the ring. So if you gave the man already what's the most important to, thing to him, what would be his incentive on marrying you? There's no incentive. There's none. Let me teach women because I want y'all to be married. Stop giving men child children without the commitment. There's the old saying. Marry before you carry. I know you all heard of it. I probably sound redundant as hell right now. I don't care. I'm going to keep saying it. Marry before you carry. And stop wearing all this dead baby hair. It's crazy. That, so now that bitches don't even give a fuck to get married no more. Y'all got a problem with that. Women get blamed for being the single mothers who actually stay with the kids while the men go out and create seven more single parent homes and now y'all mad because we don't want to have no more kids at all and if we don't have no no, no kids right now we not ever gonna have none until y'all get y'all shit together so do, do women realize and, and, and here's the thing let's put this in the perfect world i'm I, like i said i'm gonna keep stop and starting her because i don't want to get demonetized because this woman can't happen to control her language right but here's the thing Let's just say this 4B movement comes to America, right? Let's just say you get 80% of the women to sign up for it. First of all, the STD rate is going to drop dramatic dramatically. Oh, my God. I'm actually looking forward to that. You're going to stop having all these unwanted births. Oh, I didn't know he didn't like me for real. I thought he liked me, but he didn't. Oh, uh, you know, he got another baby mama over there. You know, he was, I thought he was a better man than that, but he didn't give me no commitment. Oh, he got a wife. Oh, shit. Cool. 
That will stop all of that. So you're going to hear less complaining on the internet. Awesome. I'm on the internet all day. People are complaining like it's nobody's business. So with that being said, right, let's just say it was real. Ladies, do y'all really want to stop the next generation of people from being on earth? All because the orange man is in office? Do y'all really? The last time he was in office, are you guys in bondage right now? You know, did you guys have to fight for your rights? From what I know, he left a lot of that stuff up to the states. And if you are fighting for deletion of children, are you really the Christians that you say you are? I'm just putting that out there. I already know that a lot of people that claim Christianity, and listen, I'm not on a high horse at all, but I already know that a lot of people that claim Christianity, but yet having a ton of premarital sex, pretty much doing everything that the Bible says not to do, but then run around and, and claim Christianity right behind it, to me, is wild, nasty work. So if we're fighting for these things, what are we really fighting for? Right? Then we can pray to we pretty much election night, you heard people praying to Jesus that he did not get reelected. But are we living for the policies that the Bible say to stand by? That's the question. What are we really fighting for? Ask yourself that. You know, our lives are our lives, and we have to live our lives well, no matter who's in office. Your best bet, if you really want to have a change, is to vote local. It's to vote for the person that is sitting in your courthouse that can prosecute you for petty crimes. It's to, it's to vote for the people that are sitting at, in your city council your mayors, is to vote for people in those offices. That the least important vote when it comes down to your day-to-day -day is the president. Your most important vote is your local. But most people don't vote local. They don't even get up and get out to vote. So you get what you get when you don't do that. But they, the, the, the millions of people feel as if the most popular thing to do is to go out January, uh, um, November, 5th, November what, 5th? Millions of people feel as if that's the most important thing, and it's not. Sorry to tell y'all, it's not. All right, let's keep going with this video. So instead of empathizing with us, when we talk about these terrible experiences with these men, Y'all blame us for how men treat us and how they act. It's always you should have picked better instead of holding your fellow man accountable for their actions or apologizing on their behalf. We're going to do better, queen. But no, y'all always place the blame on us. And now that we don't found a fucking solution to the problem, since y'all ain't going to fix it, we'll fix it. We're just going to leave y'all the fuck alone. And you know what she do needs to do? I heard her smoke detector go off five times in the past few minutes. What you need to do, ma'am, is get on that ladder and go change the battery in your smoke detector. All of this talking and all you hear in the background is chirp, chirp, chirp. Like what? Change the battery, then come back and act like a man. All right, let's move on to another. Layer. I was wondering how I could support. For me, it's just oh, my the Latinos for Trump. It's the Latinos for Trump and all other races. This is what I talk about when I say people of color is not a real thing. There's no such thing as people of color. Don't call my phone. Don't call my phone. Public service, unjust, don't call my phone. Okay? This is showing us right now. Um, Black men not surprised and i don't give a shit that it's only 20 percent 
don't nobody better ask me for shit the next four years. Matter of fact, man. Yo, let me do it. Let me ask y'all. And this is for everyone watching right now and everyone that's going to watch on the replay. Jump in the comments and let me know what you will be asking this young lady, Bliss with Brie, for in the next four years. Is there anything that Bliss for Brie, Bliss with Brie, can do for you in the next four years? And I'm going to even make this one better. Is there anything she could do with you for you? In the next hour, will you guys ever have to call this lady with a nose ring and a bonnet to ask her, hey, I need you to fill in the blank? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hold on, well, Ash, hey, my girl, Ash. Ash says, it's always the things women say wrong, never the men. You know why? Because the men are not on the internet saying, I don't need a woman. We're not on there saying that. Men in large know we need y'all. We need y'all. We might need we need y'all to move on to the next generation. We need y'all to grow. We want to be next to y'all. We want to be wrapped in your warm Only to embrace. Wrap you in my warm embrace, and I make it last forever. Babe, I catch a glimpse of heaven when you're... We know that. So this is why you're not hearing us, by and large, out here talking. There's nothing for me to say because the only other men that are talking about this are the men that are siding with the women saying, yes, queen, don't give him your box. Yes, queen, make him wait. Wait four years and snapping their fingers Y'all know those men. So those are the only men that I'm hearing online. And I'm online. Trust me when I tell you, I'm online. So yeah, I I'm going to dig into what the women are saying because the women are pushing a 4B movement. Men worked in Korea. It's not going to work here. I'm telling you that. But either way, and the women... On some of these women, because I did play different races of women, but some of these women share my reflection. You know what I'm saying? So do uh, oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Ash says, so do women, but these women, uh, sorry, these videos are always the ones showing and bashing women. I don't. I, I'm sorry. If you find those videos, Ash, send them to me. I'm specifically talking about the election right now, right? So this is the outcome of it. I have not seen men bashing women at all because of their choices. I've actually seen more men just making fun of these type of women for saying what they're saying. That's what I see. Rightfully so. I think it's a joke. I don't think any of these women are serious about anything that they're saying because we all know when the right man comes along, he don't even got to be the right man because most of these women are sleeping with the wrong man. <clears throat> That's a diss to the men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But most of these women are sleeping with the wrong man. And when those men come along, these women tend to want to give it up. So, yeah, if you have those videos, please send them my way. And then we could review them. If you have one right now, send it to me. Send it to my uh, G. And I promise you, I will join. I will play it. And once it's pertaining to this topic, because I don't want to fall off topic. Other than that, we could talk about that on another show. Because Ash knows what it is.